Hello crocheters and fellow yarn enthusiasts. My name is Ashley and I'm the crochet designer slash business strategist here behind a crafty concept. In this channel, I provide resources and tools to crocheters to help you start and grow the crochet business of your dreams. That includes business tips, Canva tutorials, Etsy tutorials, free crochet patterns, and resources that I find or design that I think will help you succeed. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you my newest resource, which is the 2023 content calendar. This is our first year having a printed version and I'm completely obsessed with this, you guys. I love it so much. I want to make all of the things in this size in this in this print. The cover is so soft and like rubbery. The paper is perfect for writing on. Your pencil just writes across it so smooth. I've been putting out content calendars for crocheters for a couple years now. I don't remember if it was 2020 or 2021 was the first year. I think it might've been 2021. And then we had one for 2022 and now we have one for 2023 and it's printed. I am very excited. You can still get the digital version for free, just like every other year by going to a craftyconcept.com forward slash content calendar. That will put you on my email list and get you inside the welcome sequence where I will be in your inbox, giving you all kinds of cool things to help you grow your business this year. The first thing you will get though is the digital version of this planner completely for free. The planner has been updated this year. Not only is it in printed form, but we've added some things. We took away some things. We've made it the best one that we've had yet. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So let's hop on over to my desk. I will go through this planner with you, show you how to use it efficiently so you can save time, plan your content in advance, which will help you be consistent, showing up on social media all year long for 2023. Also, don't feel discouraged if you can't think of ideas or ways to use this planner to show up on social media because every month this year at the first of the month I'm going to be releasing a new video to show you how to use that specific month so next month you will get the January video the month after that the February video and so on and so on so I'm gonna be with you all year long helping you show up consistency is going to be key to growing your business to the level of success that you want and whatever your level of success looks like that's perfect for you and I will help you get there through these videos so let's hop on over to my desk and start looking at how to use the printed version of the 2023 content calendar. Okay, let's open this bad boy up and take a look. Well, first let's look on the outside. So the cover is a matte finish. Um, I believe it's like eight and a half by 10 in size. Let me get my tape measure. It is eight and a half by 11 probably. That's a regular piece of paper. Yep, eight and a half by 11, like a regular piece of paper. It says 2023 content calendar for crocheters. It has a spine. It is flexible because it's a soft cover. This is the back. It's got my logo and a barcode, all the things. Very, very nice. Now let's look on the inside. So the first thing you're going to see when you open your calendar is this Haymaker welcome page. I highly suggest reading through this. It's got some tips on it for you for how to use the calendar, but we're going to talk about it mostly here in this video. Anyway, you are currently watching this video, so you have made it. If you need to get back to this video that you're watching right now, there is a QR code on this page. There's a QR code on lots of pages, and I'm going to show you that in this video because maybe you're planning your content and you think, oh, I need to rewatch that video. Well, there's a QR code here, and if you open your phone, app, I mean your camera app on your phone and hover over the QR code, it's going to pop up the link for you and that's going to take you directly to the video. Now, it's not linked while you're watching this because I'm recording it right at this moment, um, but it will be linked and it will take you straight to this video. After that, we find the table of contents. This is going to be a really helpful resource to help you not waste your time. Like that's, that's what this calendar is for. I want you to be more efficient with your time. So it wouldn't make sense if I gave you a calendar without a table of contents because then you're gonna be flipping forever, wasting your time. So this is here to help you see where everything is in this planner, in this calendar, so you can get to it as quick as possible. Then we have the year at a glance. This, this was a suggestion actually given to me by somebody over on Instagram. So if you're watching, thank you for the wonderful suggestion. I think this is brilliant. I use a year at a glance all the time. If I'm trying to plan 
and things. I can see what day of the week it is, what number of the month that it is. I can see like how many weeks are in May, how many weeks are in August, how many days are in July. I can see all of that in this year at a glance without having to go to the page. After the year at a glance, this is another new thing that we added this year. We have your yearly goals pages. So over here, I did an example of filling one out where you can, to show you kind of like what it could look like filling out your goals page over here. But you can read through this and fill out your goals over here. You start with a big goal at the top. So this one says my big goal was to create an email list, like start building an email list, start doing email marketing. Um, I recommend everybody do that. And if you don't know how to do that, subscribe to this channel and I will help you later on. And then you're gonna break it down into actionable steps. So in order to create an email list, you need a freebie, you need an email service provider, you need to design a landing page, create a welcome email with your freebie and share a new landing page all over the place. If you can go through all of these actionable steps, then you will have achieved your goal. So you get four of those. So you can have one quarter, one big goal per quarter. And a quarter is the first like it's three months chunks of the year. So first quarter is January, February, March. Second quarter, April, May, June, you get it. So think about what goal you have for the first quarter. And it's probably gonna align with what's trending each month. So January is new year, new you, right? Getting organized, putting some systems in place to help you be more efficient throughout the year. So maybe one of your big goals is going to be getting organized with my business and your actionable steps are going to be um, clean up external hard drive folders, um, create systems for a specific task that you do over and over again that would be easier if you could automate it in some way, like a checklist or a template or something like that. Like if you're making Pinterest pins regularly, maybe creating a template to use instead of starting from scratch every time would be more beneficial for you. So you can List your actionable steps to help you achieve your big goal, big goal in the first quarter. And you can do that for all four quarters of your business. After the yearly goals page, you have the IG crash course. This is a new addition to the planner this year. Previously, this was a separate freebie that I sent out um, digitally, but now you have a printed version all in the same spot as your content planning so you can stay organized and efficient and get to it quickly without having to scroll through a ton of different files or papers or anything like that. It's very quick, it's, it's organized, you got your table of contents, but then you got your IG crash course. And these are gonna be a few pages telling you how to do well on social media. We've got, we talk about hashtags, we talk about features, we talk about reels up there. We got, we got all kinds of IG crash course. This is a very beginner basic overview of how to succeed on Instagram. Um, so read that, go through that, take notes, highlight things that are important, start applying it today. Then we have the branding 101 PDF. Again, previously a freebie that I sent out digitally, now available in this printed thing to help you be organized and consistent. So this is gonna tell you all about branding. What is a brand? Why is a brand important? How can you change your brand? How can you design your brand? You can go through this whole branding 101 PDF and there is even a worksheet at the end to help you kind of brainstorm and get some better ideas about the brand for your business. So I recommend doing all of these things. And then we have a few notes pages. These are gonna come in handy if you are doing anything for your business. Business, if you're listening to a podcast, if you read a new book, if you're watching one of my YouTube videos, anything that you're doing for your business, this would be a great place to store those notes. So everything building business wise is in the same spot. After that, we're going to hit our monthly sheets. Our first month is January. How did you know? And on each month's sheets, there's a bunch of different things going on. So I'm going to show you that now. We're going to start on the left hand side of our page. This is the like overview for the month. We're gonna talk about trends that's going on this month. That's front of mind to your ideal customer. We've got some content ideas for things that you can post on social media based on your ideal customer and things that you sell. At the beginning of every quarter, I give you a gentle reminder here to go ahead and grab yourself a new quarterly planner to help you stay organized. Then down here at the bottom, we have the QR code again, and we'll get to that here in just a second. 
Up here at the top, we have pattern suggestions. So these are a crafty concept patterns that are free on my blog that I think will help serve you and your ideal customer as well each month. So each month has their own pattern suggestions. Then we have an action step. This is new to the planner this year. I thought giving you one action step per month will help you slowly grow your business and work on your business while running a business at the same time. Sometimes it's really hard to juggle that. So look here, email list. We just talked about that. So there's a video here that will help you start thinking about how to build an email list. So if that was your quarterly goal, I already have a resource for you. And then we have a quick up next glance at what's coming up next month. So you can go ahead and start preparing in your mind things that you need to start doing next month. So while you're doing this month stuff, planning for next month stuff, because it will be here before you know it. Now let's look at this QR code again. If you put your phone over the QR code and this one will work, praise the Lord, it will open up to the digital version of this page. This is important because all of these pattern links, the video link, the planner link, all of these things are actually linkable. So if you're sitting here working on your month of January and you think, oh shoot, I need to, I need to buy my planner, you can scan this page, it will take you to the digital version and then you can click to purchase the planner or you can click to check out the um, blog posts. If you think, oh yes, crafty facial rounds, I need to do that, I need to do that for this month, that's perfect, you can click on it and it will take you to the free crochet pattern on my blog. Um, so that is something that was new this year to help you guys be efficient and quick without having to scramble around looking for all your things. Everything is in one place. Then over here on this side, we have some of the month's social media holidays and big holidays, things that's happening this month is right here. All of this stuff is on this page. Now, I am not able to put every single social media holiday, every single big holiday for every country and every religion. I'm not able to do that. But that's why this is so helpful because you can fill it in yourself. So if I had something that I knew that was going on on January 3rd, but it wasn't in here, I can just write it in with a pen. And then I know to celebrate that holiday on that day or that social media holiday or anything like that. You can write down your Etsy anniversary so you can celebrate like every year with your audience. You can write down your birthday, your kids' birthdays, anything like that. You can write down, maybe you get an assistant and that's your assistant's anniversary for how long she's been working with you. Go ahead and go through the entire month. That's in the, the first page, the maker, the Hello Maker page. Go through the entire year quickly. You don't have to like sit there and spend a lot of time on it, but just quickly write down the dates that are front of mind to you that you know you want to make sure you're celebrating on social media or doing an email out to your list. So on the page you have this month, so this is like um, National Book Month, National Hobby Month, just things like that that you could do like at the beginning of the month. You could say, hey, did you know this month is National Book Month? Here's three books that I absolutely love or I've read a hundred times each, something like that if it's applicable to your ideal customer. Then there is a notes section where you can jot down things that you want to make sure you make, share, do in the month of January. That, and you can write them all down here. And there is a tracker section. At the end of the month, I would, when, when you're coming to the end of the month, I would go ahead and fill this tracker out. I would put how many Instagram followers you have, Facebook followers, email subscribers, how many sales you got that month on Etsy, YouTube subscribers, TikTok subscribers. And then there's two blank ones down here for you if you have something other than those that you would like to keep track of. Fill them out at the end of the month. And then when you get to the end of the next month, you can compare and see how your business has grown and see if you did something that people really liked that created quite a jump or vice versa, went backwards and you need, to, and if that's good, if that's bad, and you can look at it. This is just gonna give you some metrics to look at and help run your business. After we go through these two pages, you have a notes page again. So you have an entire notes page for every month where you can write down things that you wanna make. If you wanna make plastic bag holders, you can write down the types of yarn that you wanna use or the colors that you wanna use or if you need to make a, a color chart for that, for that particular pattern, you can use this note space to do anything that you need to help you plan this month's content, right? Or brain dump anything. If you're listening to podcasts in the month of January or watching business tip tutorials or videos in the month of January and you wanna brain dump them and you wanna remember, oh yes, I did that in January, let me go to my January notes page, 
It will help you stay organized and help you find your stuff quicker. Then we have the pattern content idea. So this is like the pattern suggestion section, but more in detail. So we learn in January that everybody's cleaning and getting ready for the new year, right? And so then I give you all these free crochet patterns that you can sell in your Etsy shops that will help serve them in those ways. So this one is for the plastic bag holder. If you live in an area that still has plastic bags, maybe this is something that you could promote to your audience to help them stay organized in January. And it says, keep your kitchen clean and tidy by storing your plastic grocery bags in a cute boho style hanger. That is something that you could say to your idle customer to help them know that this is something they need in their life to help get organized for the new year. So there's gonna be a little tidbit about all kinds of different patterns that you can use throughout the month. And of course there is the QR code down here at the bottom where you can scan it, go to this digital page and every one of these pictures are gonna be clickable and linked to the free crochet pattern on my blog. That is a very quick overview of how the months are gonna be set up. And every single month is gonna be the same. You have all the things we just talked about, the calendar on this side, the notes, and then the pattern suggestions. And these are gonna, some of these are gonna tell you like ways that you can make an Instagram post too. So definitely check these out, read them. Even if you don't plan on using a pattern that's suggested, just read this little thing because it might spark an idea for another pattern that you like and sell in your shop in a way that help you promote it or another pattern that you can add to your shop from a different designer that will help you grow your business in 2023. So you can do this, you can scan through, and then we've got all this information is about Crochet Boss Academy and the doors for Crochet Boss Academy open at the end of February. I've got that marked on your calendar for you already. But then I have all this information here to tell you what is Crochet Shape Boss Academy, how it's going to help you, if it's the course for you or not. I give you some testimonials from some of my gorgeous bosses who decided to write these for me. Thank you, Margaret, Shelly, and Cassandra for taking the time to do those. You are the best. Again, this page is digital. If you scan this code, it will take you to where you can sign up. It will take you to crochetbossacademy.com where you can see more things like this. If you want to learn about Crochet Boss Academy and see if it's the course for you because the doors open at the end of February. Then we've got March... And then we've got March notes, April, April notes, May, like every month of the whole year is going to be in this thing to help you stay organized and grow your business, work on your business, show up on social media, talk to your idol customer, build a product line around your idol customer. All of these things are going to be on each of these sheets for every single month. Now, if you are feeling a little bit overwhelmed, let me just tell you very quickly, I will be going over each of these months one at a time throughout the year here on YouTube. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you will see at the beginning of the month when a new video goes live. I'm gonna talk about every single one of these, all the social media holidays, all the different like this month things are happening that are in this planner. Obviously you can add more if you need to, but I'm gonna be talking about the ones that are in this month for each month's sheet. So don't get overwhelmed. I'm gonna walk you through this. This is just to help you stay organized and to be more efficient. So after we go through the entire year, we have a few more things at the end here. End of the year reflection. This is gonna be where you can look back on 2023 and see how your year went. See things that you liked, things that you didn't like, things that you wish you had done better, things you wanna make sure you do again, things that you wanna improve, big goals for next year. This is gonna help you do that. You can compare how your tracker stats went from January to December and see them all side by side. You can answer these questions and help to kind of like formulate your thoughts into words and get them down onto paper. That is gonna be at the very end. And then I believe, that is all. So you have a blank notes page here, a blank notes page here, and then this sheet is also blank. So you could probably write on these things too if you need more note space. That is it, guys. Super simple, but super helpful. Small, but mighty. This thing is going to help you guys all year long. I have used my content calendars every year that I put one out. I am thrilled to have the printed version. This is going to be my actual one. I need to write my name on it or something so I, I know that it is mine and I don't accidentally sell it. And I can go ahead and start um, transferring things over from my brain dump list onto my calendar so I can stay nice and organized all year long.
Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you were excited about planning your content and staying organized and staying motivated through the year of 2023. This is gonna be a fantastic year for crochet business owners. I can feel it. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. Like I said, I'm gonna be showing up all year long here on YouTube, helping you show up on your social media platforms. You can grab the link to this planner in the description below, the free digital version or the paid printed version. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. I truly believe a rising tide raises all boats. And if we all in this crochet business community help each other, work with each other, encourage one another, and help each other show up, we're all going to succeed. So leave some comments, start some conversations, ask me some questions, anything that popped in your mind while you were going through this video, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer every single one of them. I'm so excited for this year and so excited to watch you guys grow your businesses throughout the year of 2023. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for being here. Good luck to you. It's going to be a great year. You're going to do a great job. I will see you later.